Today is the 17th of December, 2022. Uh, let's start with our disclaimer, as we always do. Let's go over our calls from Thursday night and make some predictions, and we'll take a look at the long-term picture since this is the weekend. So my trading plan for Monday, which is December 19th. Please remember I can be wrong, and any trade you make should be at your own risk. We were looking on Friday for the pattern with the early high, which is this. And uh, on uh, Monday, I believe, we'll see the pattern with the early low. We looked for a strong gap at the open, which is what happened. We said if the gap were up, we had some targets, and if the gap were down, I didn't have a good way in which we could play it. So this is what we said. These are the patterns which I believe we'll see next week. These green lines are FOMC announcement prices. You can see, even though these targets were, these, these prices are months old, you can see with perfect support resistance levels, they are. The market does not forget these numbers. During the day, MJT said this drop wouldn't stick, it didn't. Said this rally wouldn't stick, it didn't. And that's all played out. This is the, um, the daily chart. You can see that we're trading under the lower Bollinger band here. Prices don't tend to stay there very long, as you can see by looking at the past. A lot of people want to see a crash starting right now. Demarks rule says if you're if you get a sequential sell, which is this bar 13, and you're going to have a crash, you should undercut this TDST line within three trading days. So as you can see, we're nowhere near that. Um, that doesn't mean we can't crash now, but that's not what I'm looking for, even though I have much lower targets. Well, let's take a look at this chart. You're looking for at least 225 handles under this blue line, so we got that today. We're still looking for this line to, re to this rally to retrace to its origin, but that's going to take time. Now, when we saw this blue trend line break and the straight line drop, one of my rules is you should return to that line at some time. We now have this green trend line, which goes way back to the COVID crash low. It's a line sloping up, and we broke it in a straight line. So my rule says at some point we should return to that line, which right now is about 100 handles higher and sloping up. So it doesn't mean we have to go there now, but at some point we should return to the, to the 3950s or even higher than that. Now you can ignore this low here and connect these lows for this good trend line. That's a major trend line. And the rule is either you gap under the line or the line wins. So if we, if we gap under the line, we can keep dropping. But if we don't gap under it, but we do trade under it, I don't think it'll stick. Well, here's the count we're using. It's possible we've completed either wave one or wave A down. Now, if we're in, if we're in wave gray C, You'd like to see some kind of relationship between gray C and gray A. Here's gray A, and we're looking at magenta A of gray A, and we had one, two, three, four, five waves down. And you can see how we're right at the 50% level. So there is a Fibonacci relationship between this first move down and this first move down. 
And it's also possible to count this as, as uh, five waves. This is one, two, three, four, five. And if you go from the 30 minute chart over to the five minute chart, you can count one, two, three, four, five, and the fibs are all good. So it doesn't mean it's the only count, but it certainly is, is a reasonable count. You also get a big increase in volume, which can be seen in panic sell-offs. We also dropped all day. We, hit, we kept down, hit a low, hit a lower low, closed over all the intraday lows and even over the intraday highs. If it's maintained at Monday's open, which means we don't gap and take out these lows fast, if that's maintained at Monday's open, it's a very positive sign. It means that for hours of selling, it couldn't really accomplish anything. And particularly on a Friday, when you rally into the close like this, it tends to follow through. Now, the least likely purchasers of stocks when you're dropping all day going into the weekend are retail customers. They just tend to, to um, panic and sell and they don't want to hold long positions over the weekend if we're dropping. So usually when you drop like this into a Friday, it follows through. And it's unusual and potentially very strong that not only didn't we follow through, we actually reversed hours of decline. This price here came at a support level not only from the FOMC announcement, it's also an exact price hit of a system based on somebody else's work. So it's possible all this selling is done and we can have a short covering rally which could be strong at least into the 3950s. Now as far as how strong, we still have these higher targets which don't have to print now but they didn't, print, they didn't generate that long ago, so it's entirely possible we see that. I don't normally comment on individual stocks, but there was one stock. I'm just going to comment on COSM. That's Charlie, Oscar, Sierra, Mike. It had a reverse split on Friday, and it's announced that might go out of business within the next year. In the pre-market, it traded as low as 15 cents. And during the day, it traded over $23, from 15 cents to $23 plus. And then in the 15 minutes of uh, after hours trading, it dropped to seven. So when you get what I'm considering a a short covering rally, even if it's a very bearish picture, these rallies can be extremely strong. And there's a good chance that if this low holds, we're going to get a strong rally like that now. Monday's pattern has the early low, doesn't mean you won't gap up. Friday's strong drop couldn't manage a close under midday lows. It didn't even close. It actually closed over midday highs, which is even stronger. So if it's maintained that Monday's open, I mean, if we gap under those lows, it means nothing. If it's maintained that Monday's open, this should lead to higher prices regardless of where we close. The late Friday reversal usually follows through since retail customers are unlikely to have been late buyers. Friday's low came at an exact price target based on someone else's work. It is a significant trend line and completed five waves down. There's an SPX volume spike, which can accompany lows. And at some point we should return to the green line shown earlier in the video. It's in the 3950s, but that line's going up. If the drop is to continue and abate it, we need to get up under Friday's low. And I don't have any way of knowing if we'll do that or not. But if we don't get up under that low, 
I think Monday trades up. And there's a very real chance we have a powerful short covering rally. That doesn't mean we're not going to collapse later, which I think we will in the first part of next year. But for right now, we could recover a lot of this drop. And that's today's call.